Okay, in this video we're going to talk about um, the integral test, which is a test you can use to determine if a series of constants converges or diverges. Um, so first we need to know what the integral test says. So the integral test says that if we are given um, the sum of a sub n, and we know f of x where f of n is equal to a sub n, then if f of x is, so there's three conditions that you need to confirm before you use the integral test. So the first one is um, f of x is continuous. Uh, the second one is that f of x needs to be positive. And then the third one, which is kind of the most annoying, f of x needs to be decreasing. Um, so we'll have to do some work maybe to determine that. And so if it's continuous, positive, and decreasing for k to infinity, so from some value to infinity, then uh, one of two things is true. So then either um, if the integral from k to infinity of f of x dx, so that's an improper integral, so you'll have to use proper notation. If that integral converges, then so does the sum of a sub n. On the other hand, if the integral from k to infinity of f of x dx diverges, then so does a sub n. So really, it just kind of comes down to uh, they do the same thing. So that's what the integral test says. You need to confirm that f of x is continuous, positive, and decreasing. Um, and then you have to do the improper integral. So this actually, it's a lot of work. Um, so let's take a look at an example and see how it goes. So say we have the sum from 1 to infinity of n over n squared plus 1 quantity squared. So to use the integral test, first I need an f of x. So I'm going to say let f of x be um, x over x squared plus 1 quantity squared. Uh, where x is greater than or equal to 1, right? Because I only really care about 1 to infinity because n starts at 1. So that's going to be f of x. So I need those three conditions. So um, the first one, I'm going to say f of x is, uh, well, it's definitely positive, right? Because x is greater than or equal to 1. So definitely positive. Don't need to do any work there. Um, f of x has no discontinuities here. So continuous, for sure. And um, I'm also going to say, that f of x is decreasing. So this is where a lot of the work comes in. Um, so if it's obviously decreasing, you can kind of just state that it's decreasing. I would say this is not obviously decreasing. So instead, I'm going to do some work. So here's the work that oftentimes you don't end up doing because it's obvious, right? If the numerator is a constant and the denominator is growing, then the function must be decreasing. But here, I don't know, not so obvious. So I'm going to take the derivative. I'm going to do this kind of like off video and just write down the answer. So I use the quotient rule, and then I cleaned it up as much as possible. So I get f prime is 1 minus 3x squared over the quantity x squared plus 1 cubed. Um, so this, since x is greater than or equal to 1, uh, definitely less than 0. Um, and well, as long as x is greater than or equal to 1. So that means that the integral test applies. So this is all the work that you have to do. Like you have to state f of x, you have to state positive, continuous, decreasing. You might have to prove decreasing. State, say that the integral test applies. Now we're going to apply the test, so we have to do an improper integral. So here we go. The integral from 1 to infinity, x over x squared plus 1 squared dx. So uh, notation is really important for improper integrals, so it becomes limited as b approach to infinity, integral from 1 to b. Um, now I'm going to do the integral. So I do use substitution, and I'm kind of doing it in my head. Um, so it's the limit as b approaches infinity. We get a 1 half because u is x squared plus 1. So du is 2x, so we need a 2. So that's where the 1 half comes from. Then in my head, I'm thinking it's really u to the negative second. So plus 1 times the reciprocal is negative uh, u to the negative 1. So that's where the negative 1 comes from. And so we're integrating from 1 to b. So, more notation. A lot of notation with this stuff. Here, just fundamental theorem. When you plug in 1, you actually get a value, so you don't really need the limit there. Uh, this, if you look at it, you can take that limit. It's, it's obviously 0. So this just gives me 1 fourth. So since I get 1 fourth, that means that uh, the integral converges. So the integral converges, and therefore the um, summation converges by the integral test. So you have to write that at the end just so people know what you're doing. Um, these problems are long, so you can kind of lose sight of that, actually. Um, so on the next slide, uh, I just have some, some advice on when to use this test. So when you look at um, the summation that you're given, uh, if it looks like you can form f of x and it would be easy to integrate, 
then you might want to go for the integral test. Um, another time, uh, I do this all the time, if you can use a calculator and your calculator um, has a computer algebra system and it can actually you know, do an improper integral, then the integral test is a really good choice because the calculator will do all of the work for you. Um, so I recommend it then. Uh, the third time, which is the most common time, is if you're just told that you have to use it. So you've got to know all the conditions, you might have to show decreasing, pain in the neck. Um, it's, it's actually kind of annoying to the point where I'd pretty much rather use any other test. So I hope that the series is a P-series, I hope it's geometric. I'll try to limit compare, which actually, if this hadn't been about the integral test, that's what I would have done for this. I would have limit compared to uh, the sum over one over the sum of one over n cubed. Um, any other test, really. Uh, while you're doing it, you might need to show that um, f of x is decreasing. If you need to show that, you're going to use f prime of x to show that. So that's like a calc one idea. And uh, the takeaway from this for me is that the integral test is a lot of work. Sometimes you need to use it. Um, so this should help you, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.